Hello and welcome back. Um, uh, just, just for those of you wondering, do I ever change my t-shirts? I kind of do every now and again, but uh, this has been done basically in the same hour that I put a few videos up together and I just decided to put them live on different days. Um, one of the questions, uh, you know, that's worth considering before you go to therapy is how long do you feel you need uh, in, in therapy? How long do you feel you need? Because there are certainly people out there, and maybe they, maybe that's what you want, but certain people out there that want to do an individual session, just turn off, do one, and all right, and done. Um, I think those are the people who, um, you know, maybe they're, maybe they're veterans of therapy, maybe they've had therapy a few times, and they just need a little bit of a top up, they know how to you know, gather themselves up, there's obviously nothing wrong with this kind of way of doing things. Uh, the only way it is wrong is if the therapist um, is being treated like a, a, a kind of like a healer which I've had, you know, people torn up and they expect you to maybe say something magical and all the problems go away and because you don't, you're the worst therapist in the world. That's not going to happen, really, is it? You know, the people out there, the healers out there for that, there are people out there able to do these kind of things in one session. Therapists aren't really there for that. So that the one the person that can come for one session, maybe that's all they want and all they need because they've been to therapy before, they're very experienced with that and they kind of go, Oh, that's all I need to get back to myself as one So brilliant. So there are other therapies that may or may not be long term. Um, so let's say grief therapy, for example, can tend to be a bit shorter. Um, because if you're just dealing with grief, the only the only one the only person the person may just only want you to get them back on the path of true grief. So they want to be they've lost away a little bit. They've come off or stuck in one of the one of the areas, and we'll just guiding them back into the into the way that to properly grieve, to be able to properly grieve. So that can tend to be now it doesn't always be this is this is not a, a definite but it can tend to be short. So they do a short amount of, of grief walk. They're able to do it themselves, everything else is going well in their lives, bang, they're off. They do a few small amount of sessions. Uh, where it can become a bit longer is if that grief walk touches on things like attachment stuff and then all the stuff that they've unresolved and that else but you kind of need to expect if that happens then the therapy is not going to end you in the grief walk then it's then more onto a different path um, and essentially grief walk grief in a sense in a sense as in you know person who's dealing with grief very early on in the grief process um, someone who's just recently passed we were not going to be doing psychotherapy in those situations anyway. It's going to be counselling. It's going to be sitting with the person, just going through with them exactly what's happening. There's no deep stuff happening there because it doesn't need it. And then when they're outside of grief work, if we discover through that, does it happen and stuff? Well, that's when psychotherapy can engage. I mean, go to the people, um, and that's only with the consent of the person. They may turn around and say, "I'm quite happy. I have enough. I recognise that, that stuff is there, but I don't really want help with it. It's been grand. It's been helping me in my life, which is." wonderful people using their, their, their histories to be able to make a better future um, you know but there are people that you know we can walk with you and walk through those stuff so the thing is how how long have you been suffering what you're suffering when you're going to therapy so let's say you have had a pretty terrible awful childhood and from childhood then you went to work and work has been pretty awful and terrible and so on and then you have a relationship and they're also pretty awful and terrible well you know, we have to understand here a little bit that the therapy is not going to be quick in this situation. We, we're not going to go in and do five sessions and be great and happier. Now, you might just do five sessions and feel it right and want to leave, but the chances are very, very high that you are going to actually have to come back to therapy again down the line very soon after um, and re engage with therapy and go through your own process. So that's a really, really valuable question to ask yourself when you're considering therapy. If I'm going into therapy, how do I want to work? And as well as that, the other thing that we need to consider is how can I, can I afford therapy long term? You know, and if I can't afford therapy long term, that's also what do I need in the therapy that I can afford? And then maybe go into a little bit there, do a bit. Let's see how that works in my life. Take a little bit of time out for yourself. See what you can work on your own your own self and then maybe in whatever amount of time you decide I'll re-engage in therapy because I'll get the money back and I'll go back in. So that's really, really good investment on yourself. Instead of putting away you know, instead of putting away money you can buy a car or buy something else, it's putting money away to actually invest in the most important thing you have which is you. Because without the car in the house and the, 
you know, stuff we we tend we tend to buy it because we want it because it gives us something. Um, we're going to actually give ourselves something for us, just one hundred percent. Because therapy is not about anybody else in your life. The therapy is only about you. So just consider that question if you are considering therapy. What do I want from therapy? How long do I want therapy to be? And that's a really, really valuable question for you to engage with on your first session with your therapist. Anyway, I hope that helps and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching.